In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a Photoshop action so you can save time editing your newborn photographs. Hi, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way. And I don't know about you, but I spend countless hours at my computer editing my newborn photographs. What if I told you there was a quick and easy way that you can save yourself time? Wouldn't that be pretty amazing? Well, I'm going to show you today in Photoshop how to create your very own action of steps that you may do over and over and create an action that you can run on all your photos. And make sure you hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any newborn photography tips. So we're going to hop over to the computer and I will show you there. All right, now that we're in Photoshop, I want to show you the quick and easy way to create your own action. Now I know that I do lots of the same steps over and over and over in my workflow. And I want to just show you a quick and easy way just to speed up your time. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over here and we're going to right over here in this um, panel here, we've got the option of making a new action or a new set. So what I'm going to get you to do is actually create a new set and we're going to call these whatever your name is, your actions. Um, I'm going to call them Lisa's new actions and this will be the set of the entire action so I'll be able to make subset actions in here for various um, things that I make okay so we've got our new set next thing we're gonna do is we're going to hit new action so we're gonna call this and call this um, Lisa's newborn action and it's going to be in Lisa's new action set. You can assign a function key to it if you'd like. I typically don't. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit record. So once you hit record, you're going to, going to be kind of going through all the steps that you would normally do. You know, it could be curves, it could be levels, and just make those layers that you want to include in your action. So for me, for example, things that I may do would be perhaps a curves layer to brighten things up. Um, could be a level thing, level layer to soften things up. And it could be a color level if I wanted to do some sort of color adjustment. Maybe it would be like a hue saturation. Um, maybe I would drop the saturation of my reds a little bit down. And you can see how I, I am changing my reds here. Maybe I'm increasing it a little bit, just take a little bit of the red out. So that would be a really, really simple action. And what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna hit this little button here and it has recorded this action. So what I'm gonna do is um, delete these layers and then we're actually gonna run our action and see how it works. So we're gonna hit the little play button right here. What I love is that it totally works and you can go back in and you can um, erase it off off each level if you want to if you want to change the opacity of each layer you can do that too sort of just tweak it to each image now what I love is, is I instead of having to run this on or, or do these steps on every single image I now can have an action that I can run it individually so stay tuned for my next video how I show you how to batch with your actions to save you even more time I know you just learned how to make a Photoshop action, but what I'd love to share with you is the steps. So head on over to themilkyway.ca backslash free stuff and download your free copy there. And remember, Photoshop is hard to learn, you guys. Remember to share with me in the comments below what your biggest struggle is, and don't forget to hit that bell to subscribe so you are able to get all these awesome tricks and tips to make you the photographer you've always wanted to be.